here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the temperatures in many spots are running 15, 20 degrees warmer than we even had yesterday at this time. So it is a big jump up. Skipping ahead a couple of months from what the typical temperatures are. Let's take a look at where we are right now. The warmest spots today are going to be away from the water's influence. So Providence at 67, 66 in Smithfield. New Bedford's up above 60 degrees. Newport and Westerly Block Island. 50s right now with the sunny skies and the winds off of the water. Boston bound here at 66 degrees. Hartford has climbed into the middle 60s. We've got that southwest wind off of the cooler ocean waters. Water temperature right now around 41, 42 degrees. So you get that wind off the water in our coastal communities bound to be cooler this time of year. Still a beautiful day down in Newport with sun filled skies in Providence. You can see the cameras just shaking a little bit in the winds. One good thing about that time change, of course, the later sunset. So plenty of hours ahead of us still with the sunny sky this afternoon won't go down the sun till 646 this evening and we will have a full moon tonight. Two o'clock temperatures, upper 60s, Smithfield 70, Providence, Taunton close to 70 degrees, upper 50s to lower 60s at the shore. And by 530 this evening, still quite mild, still around 70 degrees in the inland areas and in the mid to upper 50s at the coast. As the evening goes on, we start off mostly clear. There will be some increasing at least high clouds as the night goes on, but it stays dry and mild. Temperatures dropping through the 50s eventually into the 40s for late night lows, mid to upper 40s. High pressure providing this little dose of spring today going to slide to the east, still controlling our weather for at least the first three quarters of the day tomorrow, which means another warmer than normal day. But this frontal system, it's heading our way and it'll deliver some showers as we head into Tuesday evening. So I want to jump ahead. This is Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. and we'll start off with some filtered sunshine. The clouds tend to thicken through the afternoon, but notice at three that most of that shower activity still just entering into western New England. So the school day looks dry. Even the evening commute is mainly dry, but then later in the evening and the early part of the night, some scattered showers working their way through. We are back to dry weather then on Wednesday and a little bit cooler, but in setting hitting highs near 70 today, tomorrow's more likely to be in the lower to possibly some mid 60s, depending on how much sunshine we see. 62 still at five o'clock in the evening, 50s at eight o'clock with some scattered showers and then on Wednesday, a little bit cooler. Mid 50s, still mild for mid March. Sun giving way to increasing clouds, a dry day. Best shot for daytime showers this week actually is on Friday. We'll see scattered showers, still looking like less than a half an inch of rain with that tapering off by evening. If you're already looking ahead to the weekend, big weekend down in Newport. They've got the St. Patrick's Day Parade. It's cooler, breezy and dry down there. Temperatures will be up into the mid to upper 40s at parade time. And on Sunday, looking cool and dry as well. Those weekend temperatures, it'll be a big change, but that's certainly more typical of this time of year.